Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds of... Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. Please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. In today's video, we're doing an inside the dressing room for Old Navy. I haven't been to Old Navy in quite a while. My Old Navy doesn't carry plus size items, but I decided to go in there and see what they had for fall. See if I could fit in their straight size items. So let's go ahead, let's go into Old Navy and see what I found. All of my tops that I tried on were in a size XXL and my bottoms were a size 18. So the first item that I tried on was the turtleneck. It was in a cream color and then it had some orange striping going on. This one is a little bit snug on me, kind of like in the back, but in the front it fit perfectly fine. That tends to happen, like I have a lot going on in the back, you know? It felt nice, it just kind of showed a little bit. You know, like shows your lumps and bumps. So if that bothers you, then I'd say this shirt is not for you. But if it doesn't, then it was actually really comfortable. The fabric was really nice. It has little tiny slits on the side and it just has like a little bit of a turtleneck. It wasn't like a tight turtleneck or anything. It was pretty comfortable. And I just thought it was a nice top and it's really cute for fall. It definitely wasn't a thick t-shirt. It was more of like a thin fabric. So you could definitely wear it in fall i think it would be like a really good layering piece then i decided to pair it with a pair of jeans these ones are in a size 18 and they fit really really nicely i didn't realize that old navy's jeans were like that nice and they're not too too expensive i believe these ones were like 44 dollars which isn't too bad for a pair of jeans especially ones that are really nice these ones had a little bit of distressing and you guys know if you've been following me for a while I really like distressing on my jeans. Not too much like big huge distressings, just like little distressings. I feel like it just looks really cute. That's just my preferred style. These ones I felt like fit really, really good on me. They weren't tight. They weren't loose or anything. I think they made my butt look pretty good. The only thing that I didn't like about them was I'm not a huge fan of when washes have like the weird like acidy washes right on your stomach. Like I don't like how that looks. I feel like it makes me look whiter right there. So I normally have a problem with jeans being too long on me and these ones were just in a regular and they fit me perfectly fine and I wouldn't have to like cuff them or anything and so that's a big deal for me. The next item that I tried on was a vest. This one is also in an XXL. It's a little bit too small for me. XXL and a 2X are not the same for plus size. Like in my store they don't carry plus size. Even if it did fit me like correctly I wouldn't even zip it up anyways so I could get away with getting this vest. It wasn't too tight like in my back or anything. The armholes weren't too tight for my arms which that's normally what happens when I wear straight size stuff. A lot of times it's too tight in my back or too tight in my arms like the armholes are too small a lady actually stopped me and asked me like in the store she's like oh my god where'd you get that vest it's really cute i like it because it has like that like teddy bear fabric on the outside and then the inside it was more of like suede fabric and i just love the contrast between like the orangey brown and the creamy white i just think they look really great together I pick this vest up it's really really cute the next item that i tried was a, another top this one is a long sleeve top and this one is also in an XXL and it actually is baggy on me surprisingly so I would say not everything that you're gonna try there is gonna be too tight on you so if you are my size then just try different things out I feel like Old Navy is really good at like making things a little bit more oversized so a lot of times even though they don't carry plus size in the store things like this will definitely fit you I just think it's a really nice color I like the thin little lines on the t-shirt and then I like that it is a v-neck that had the shark bite hem on it. I decided to pair that with a pair of olive green cargo pants. Normally cargo pants like are wider. These ones more of like were like a skinny jean fit but then they had cargo pockets on it. I wish they would have had them in a size 20. I would have got them if they had them in a size 20 because I've been looking for stuff in this color because this year I am obsessed with this color and I was hoping they would have them but they didn't. They only had them a size 18 and there just wasn't a lot of stretch in the waistband. They were more of like a structured waistband so keep that in mind if you have a big lower tummy like I do. These ones just didn't have a lot of stretch. They were just really like sturdy pants maybe size up one in these pants but i think it's just because they are not high-waisted they hit me like more of a mid-rise they weren't too long for me that's something that i never find so like i just realized that old navy likes the shorties so that's great thank you old navy if you're short like me then definitely check out old navy because their regular pants fit me like a short wood somewhere else. One thing that I love about Old Navy, if even if I couldn't fit in any of their regular things, sweaters seriously are so oversized, 
it's amazing. So I could wear like a size large in Old Navy sweaters, like their actual like over like cardigan sweaters. This one wasn't an XXL and I could have sized down like one or two. I don't mind like an oversized look, but I feel like this was kind of too oversized. So I would say if you are my size, then size down in this sweater. It was super soft, it was a super thick knitted sweater. This would be a really good sweater when it's too cold to wear short sleeves, but it's not cold enough to wear a jacket. It had really great like big pockets and everything. This one I would say is definitely a big thumbs up. The only thing that I could say that I would want to add to this sweater would possibly be buttons. I prefer like when they have buttons, even if I don't want to button it up, I want the option just in case, you know, is that just me? This next item is my favorite item that I had tried on. It is in, of course, my favorite color, which if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you guys know i'm obsessed with the color mustard especially in fall but i mean who are we kidding i wear it all the time and i just think this is like such a cute sweater it is in an xxl and as you can see it definitely is oversized i probably could have wore it in a size extra large and been perfectly fine so if you are a little bit bigger than me don't roll out old navy especially in their sweaters this one kind of has like a bat wingy kind of sleeve going on but normally I don't like that whole style, but this one I actually did like because it was a little bit looser here on my arm, which is where, of course, my arm is bigger, and then it was tighter here on my sleeve. It's a little bit cropped. That's the only thing I can complain about it was it was a little bit shorter than what I would normally want it to be. If I put my hands up, it didn't like show my tummy or anything, but I would definitely want to wear it with like high-waisted jeans. And then I decided to pair that sweater with a pair of their jeggings. So I've never tried on their jeggings. They didn't have them in a size 18, so I grabbed a size 20 just so I could show you guys what they looked like. And they are in a dark wash. These jeggings were super comfortable. I normally don't wear jeggings because I don't like when pants don't have pockets in the front. I don't know why I never put anything in these pockets, but I just don't like the way they look like on my stomach normally. I feel like they draw attention to my belly. And if I'm wearing something long enough, then I'll wear jeggings. Have like that really stretchy waistband. They remind me of like leggings. They would have fit a lot better. I think in a size 18, I feel like these ones would stretch out throughout the day. They remind me of the jeggings from Torrid and Torrid's jeggings run a little bit big. They kind of stretch out during the day, like in the crotch area and stuff. I feel like these ones would be the same exact way wear your regular size. These ones were a little bit longer on me. I probably would have wanted to cuff up a little bit. So they did carry these ones in like regulars and shorts and longs. I would definitely need to get the length short in these ones because if you guys haven't tried old Navy recently, especially in the fall time, I would definitely suggest going and checking them out, especially in the fall because there's so many things that can be oversized, like sweaters and jackets and stuff. They're not super expensive. They're always running really great deals, like buy one, get one 50% off, or 50% off of sweaters, or 40% off of this. Especially if you can find an outlet Old Navy, they have even better deals. Even if they don't have plus size in the store, I know they carry them online, and I know a lot of stores actually do carry plus size, but I feel like they do a good job at making their stuff a little bit more generous in the sizing area so that plus size people can fit into their stuff. The highest number of a jean size that I saw was a size 20 in the actual store. I couldn't find anything above that. I did look. I will have everything linked down in the description box that I can find on their website as I always do so you guys can shop these items if you guys liked anything. Make sure you go ahead and let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was that I tried on. Where do you guys think I should go next? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Also make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm Amanda Yasmin89. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. My my Instagram is linked down in the description box below as it always is. As always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. And I